All right, what up, y'all? Welcome to week three for what the hell? Week three for college, uh, for college football. And boy, I did not think week two would bring that much excitement, but but it did in the most way. We have just a long list of of losers, man. The the the. the, the the loser list is just is miles long, and it's only week two. Um, I didn't get a chance to make a whole recap video, so but if we get to your team, and your team crapped the bed last week, we will talk about it. Um, went eighteen and eight last week, with all upsets considered. I think that's pretty good. Last week was wild. Still managed a pretty good winning record, so I'll take that with how wild last week was. All right, let's let's get into it. Georgia is your new number one team in the country. Uh, they blew out they blew out a nobody last week. South Carolina played hard, but lost to now top ten ranked Arkansas. Um, this is a home game for South Carolina, so maybe we'll have a slimmer of hope. Uh, but that's basically all they got right. It's <coughs> basically all they got riding for them. Georgia should should get this win pretty easily. Michigan. How did the J.J. McCarthy, Cade McNamara experiment go? Well, Cade McNamara looked like garbage against Colorado State, but they won via defense in the run game. J.J. McCarthy, last week against Hawaii, was amazing. He went 11 for 12, had like 250 yards, touchdowns, no interceptions. He looked great, so he will be the starter moving forward. I think that's going to be the right decision for. Uh, I think it's going to be the right decision for Michigan. Um, they play UConn this week. Should should be an easy win. Uh, Oklahoma will go on the road to <laughs> Nebraska. My goodness. <coughs> My goodness. Losing at home in front of 90,000 fans to Georgia Southern. To Georgia Southern. Absolute embarrassment. And they did something they should have done two years ago. Um, or they should have done after the first game this year. Uh, before Scott Frost even got off the field, they made the decision. He would be relieved of his duties. They said, you should be looking for employment right now because you are Fired. Uh, about time they fired Scott Frost. My goodness. Losing to Georgia Southern, I guess, is the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, they will play Oklahoma at home. Now, there are two things that can happen when a coach gets fired. Uh, the team either just completely implodes because they don't have the guy that's been leading them for a while, or they rally around their inter I forget who's their interim head coach. Um, they rally around said interim head coach. And uh, and they look pretty good. They got a chance to revive their season. They're one and two, but you know what? They can revive their season if they beat Oklahoma. I think it's going to be a close game. It's at home. It's the first time that these two have played in Lincoln in a while. I think Nebraska holds it close. I think they come out with a fire and intensity after losing, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Oklahoma will take this one. Kentucky. Look at you. I picked I picked Kentucky to win. And they did win. Good job. Good on you, Kentucky. Uh, congratulations. And with teams ahead of them losing, they're now in the top ten. Number nine is where Kentucky comes at. They're the third-rated team in the SEC. Uh, they got a strong team. Uh, I think <coughs> Youngstown State should be an easy win. Baylor. Ugh. Man, this one's tough. I mean, I had Baylor going 11 and one and making the Big 12 title game and winning the Big 12, and they lose on the road to future Big 12 team BYU. This is similar to last year's BYU, when a highly ranked Utah came to town, and uh, and BYU took them down. Um, I mean, Baylor, they still got a chance to have a good season. It's only one loss. Um, Texas State is coming to town. Should be a win. Purdue and Syracuse. I'm not even going to lie. Syracuse is looking like one of the best teams in the ACC. How did that happen? I have no idea. They beat, they destroyed Louisville. And I think, I forget, I think they beat a nobody last, 
<coughs> they have Purdue coming to town. Purdue took down Indiana State 57 nothing or something. And actually, Syracuse is favored by one in this game. It's essentially just a pick 'em. 50-50 uh, coin flip game. I like Purdue's chances, though. I know it's hard to play on the dome. I think Purdue is a much more talented team. And I think I would I would feel safe picking Purdue in this game. Um, IU and Western Kentucky men. I don't know how many of y'all watched the IU game. Um, it was on Big Ten Network. They were playing Idaho. It poured the whole game until the fourth quarter. But, like, before the game started, they had to delay the game. We were there in the student section. It, it poured, poured the whole time. Um, and not to mention that, Idaho was winning at halftime 10 nothing. Indiana's kicker missed two, two field goals within 30 yards. And it was just ugly. But IU came out all business in the second half. Got the run game going. I'm not going to lie, Idaho's DBs, they were some dogs, man. They were kind of smaller, but they were fast as hell. They were no separation for, for receivers. Uh, so, yeah. Western Kentucky's coming to town. Usually a pretty good team. I'm going to take IU to get this one done. Okay, I just realized neither one of these teams are on the board. Wisconsin, how do you lose at home to Washington State? I'm surprised Washington State wasn't ranked. They looked good. Um, man. Mm -mm -mm. Wisconsin. I'll give, I'll give you a little tidbit. The Big Ten East is a combined 14-0. and 0. Every single team in the Big Ten East is 2-0. and 0. The Big Ten West is 9-7. and 7. I, I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Notre, oh my god, Notre Dame, what an embarrassment you were this past week, losing at home to Marshall. Wow, 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 wow. Marshall's defense was spectacular that whole game. Only gave up 21 points, and seven of them didn't even matter, or six of them didn't even matter. And they got a pick six to seal the game. Marshall got the most votes to be ranked. But they're not ranked. They're 26. They're just on the edge of being ranked. If they win, they should be ranked. No problem. Notre Dame, I mean, get your act together. Cal is coming to town. I would hope you could beat Cal. Because, I mean, it's Cal. And Cal's not very good. If you... Marcus Freeman needs that first coaching win, man. He's 0-3. Utah and San Diego State should be an easy game for Utah. They put up 70 on my Sue Birds, Thunder, Thunderbird, Southern Utah. Should be a win. Ole Miss and Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is just not a good team. Ole Miss should, should have their way with them. Should be a nice win. Penn State and Auburn. Auburn with, man, if they would have lost, they barely squeaked by against San Jose State at home. They won by eight. Not a good look at all. Penn State, on the other hand, has been looking good. Took down Ohio. They're now ranked. I think they're going to get the win. Penn State's the better team, and they're favored. Auburn's just, I mean, they're not going to have a good year. They're just not going to have a good year. I mean, I, the wheels are about to come crashing down on Auburn. It's just a matter of time. This, it, it, somehow, where game day is going to be headed next week, Troy and Appalachian State. App State, of course, had the crazy week one game against North Carolina, where neither team played a lick of defense the whole game. And did 63-61, App State toting the loss in that one. Then they had to go on the road against Texas A&M. I'm like, ah, A&M's a hell of a lot better than North Carolina. So A&M should be able to handle App State. But no, App State's defense coming to play, only allowing 14 points. And scoring 17, enough to win. <sighs> Unfathomable loss for Texas A&M. We'll get to them at the end of the video. But my goodness, Appalachian State, biggest win in their program's history, well, since they beat Michigan. That's the biggest, that will forever be the biggest win in program history when they beat Michigan. But this is the the one B to that. I mean, wow. Good job, App State. They got some votes to be ranked. Um, they will take on Troy. I will say that campus was, wow. I saw some videos from App State's campus. 
the campus i mean they're still celebrating my goodness people are jumping into the river on campus people are climbing up shit they're mobbing in the streets it was wild um I'm, i can't wait to see what they bring for game day game day is actually more fun when they go to small schools because they the turnout's a lot bigger alabama and louisiana monroe alabama and texas played a great game on saturday great game and you can nitpick Texas could have done this, they could have done that, they could have done this, they could have done that. The big problem for Alabama, they had over 115 yards in penalties. I think 30 of them were just Will Anderson. He had a rough game. But part of the reason of what cost Texas that game was a multitude of things. Everyone's going to harp on the safety that wasn't a safety with Bryce Young when he threw the ball away, and it clearly should have been intentional grounding, but it wasn't. Um, Quinn Ewers getting hurt did not help either. I mean, he was slinging it to start the game. He looked amazing for Texas, um, absolutely amazing. Um, and then he got hurt. Sounds like he'll be out, I, I heard, six weeks. Not good. But he looked amazing to start the game. And they couldn't convert in the red zone. They kicked five field goals. Y you can't beat Alabama scoring one touchdown. You just can't do it. Um, and the missed field goal at the end of the half didn't help either. They screwed up a 20-yard field goal. It was a bad snap. It wasn't even the kicker's fault. But Alabama did not look as good as people thought they were. And Texas looked a lot better people thought they were texas is now ranked i'm not sure if i agree with them being ranked because i mean they did lose uh, but you know what good for texas uh, if hudson card who looked decent in his time at quarterback if he could hold down the fort until quinn ewers comes back could be a good texas team with, with that being said bam is going to roll louisiana monroe but their offensive line looked bad texas was getting a lot of pressure houston and kansas how about the jayhawks Taken down West Virginia in overtime, sealed the game on a pick six. Sadly, though, I think they're going to lose to Houston. I think Houston's a better team. If Houston did just lose to Texas Tech, that was a game I got right, but I think Houston will win. Liberty at Wake Forest. Wake Forest is looking good. Sam Hartman came back. He's looking great. Wake Forest, no problems over Liberty. Marshall, good for y'all, man. At, at the Right now, right now, Marshall is leading. They are the front runner. For the New Year's Six bowl bid for the out of power five teams. So, unless they give that to BYU or something, I don't know. But Marshall would be the group of five team. Let's look at the best right now. They travel to a MAC. They play Bowling Green. Interesting game. We'll see how they handle coming off a really big, high emotional win. Um, I want to see them win. I th I, I'm, I'm going to say they get it done. Mississippi State and LSU. Well, we know how bad LSU will be this year. Um, are they better than Notre Dame? Ugh, who knows? Um, we'll see about that. But they will play Mississippi State, a very underrated Mississippi State team. A Mississippi State team that could make noise in the West. They have a lot of returning starters from last year. They looked good to start the year. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take the, the Bulldogs in this game. Ohio State and Toledo. Ohio State rolled Arkansas State, I think it was. And they should do the same in Toledo. Uh, Missouri State and Arkansas. Arkansas ranked in the top 10 now. Um, they have a really good team. They play Alabama at home later in the year. Maybe a game to watch because people thought Arkansas would be a lot better than Texas. So that could be a game to watch later in the year. Tennessee and Akron. Tennessee getting a great win. Absolutely great win over Pitt in double overtime. Uh, double overtime. They take. Or not, or I think it was only single overtime. They took down Pitt. Uh, great game, great back and forth game for both teams. They both look, they both put on a show. Tennessee though gets it done. They're rising up in the rankings too. That's another team that Alabama plays on the road. Because here's the thing: ask yourself this: <coughs> Is Texas better than Tennessee? Is Texas better than Arkansas? I'm saying the possibility of Alabama losing these games is a lot bigger than what it was to start the season. I'll tell you that right now. NC State and Texas Tech. NC State, uh, I think they're two and zero. Yeah, they're two and zero. They play Texas Tech, who came off a good win against Houston. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take NC State. Michigan State travels to Washington. Michigan State's another team that's rising up there a little bit in the rankings. Um, 
Washington's just not great. I mean, they're just not. They haven't been since they made the playoff. That, yeah, they made the playoff that one year with Bears legend Dante Pettis. And who else? They had John Ross, Jake Browning, Miles Gaskin. They had a great team, but that's a long way removed. Michigan State should get this one on the road. Florida and Southern – oh, Florida. Man, you, you thought you were winning the national title for about one week. Kentucky comes to town, and that game went exactly how I said. I said Florida's going to be overconfident and coming high off that big win, and Kentucky's going to get them, and they did. Uh, they should beat South Florida, but – a little disappointing for the Gators. UTSA and the aforementioned Texas. Texas should win this game. I mean, it was, I know, big disappointment. They couldn't beat Alabama. But, I mean, it's hard to beat the number one team. And they came as close as you can to. So, Texas has looked good. We'll see what they can do in Big 12 play. Um, I'm still not expecting much. It is, it is still Texas. I mean, they did the same thing against LSU. Remember when they almost beat LSU? Uh, and with Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow and Clyde edwards Larry, Remember when they almost beat him at home? And then they kind of had a meh season after that. I have a feeling we could be going down that same road with Texas. All right. Feature. Now, I kind of had to scratch and claw for featured games. But we have two ranked matchups. Uh, I'm going to release both of these at the same time. And there's a reason I'm going to do that. Here are my score predictions. I have Oregon and A&M winning, and the reason being is, is because both these teams are coming off of tough losses. A&M coming off the really tough loss to App State, and Oregon, I mean, still hurting after that loss to Georgia. But they both have big games at home to get their season back on track. They both play good ranked teams in the top 15 at home. Miami who's looked good so far, and BYU, who came off the big win against Baylor. Uh, both of these two teams also are teams that do poorly away from home. BYU does not do great. BYU is a great team at home. Great team at home. They have one of the best fans in the country, but they're not that great away from home. Same thing with Miami. Although Miami doesn't have a great home atmosphere. They play in the Dolphin Stadium. Uh, but... I think that Oregon and A&M are both going to know what they need to do this game. And I think they're both going to – I think they're both favored. If you, if, if, I, think, I think they're both favored. I'll, I'll look. I'll see what the opening line is for these games. Uh, Texas A&M is a five-and-a-half point favorite against Miami. And Oregon is a three-and-a-half point favorite against BYU. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to hammer BYU and Miami because they've looked better in the year. I'm going to take the two the two teams that have suffered tough losses looking to rebound. Because think about it. When A&M beat Alabama last year, they had lost two weeks prior. They had lost to Mississippi State and Arkansas. So I think the same thing will go for both these teams, Oregon and a and I think they both get big wins to get their season and playoff. Hopes back on track, even though I think it could be a far cry for both of them. BYU and Miami, are you up to the challenge? You got to be. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what those games have in store. Those are going to be by far the two best games. But those are those are the teams I like. So hopefully you enjoyed this this picks video. And uh, yeah, I will. I'll see y'all around.